Oh my god. <laughs> Slingshot again. Oh, Haven't we suffered we a trailer enough? before our tra <laughs> Hey, I heard you like trailers. So we put a trailer in front of your trailer so you can watch trailers while you watch trailers. Welcome to Trailer Trash, where we watch trailers, we get trashed, and we put trailers in front of your trailers so you can watch trailers while you watch trailers. Now this one... Um, Pimp my trailer. Have you... Have Pimp my trailer? Yeah. Trailer my trailer? Yeah. <laughs> Pimp my trailer could sound like a very fancy trailer, though. Cool. Trash yeah. my trailer. Hey, hey we will. Hey, so. that's where I do my hussy business in. <laughs> yeah, with your wigs. Um, <gasps> my, the, my which wigs? <laughs> the best wigs. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a birdcage reference in it, so this one's already a winner. Uh, what are we watching? Subservient. Why do I gotta say it? Subservience. How did I know? I usually don't know, but I knew this time because it's subservient. This is gonna dovetail nicely off. Um, afraid. A dovetail. Woo. Uh, where I was complaining that. An AI without a body is not threatening, and this is an AI in oh, oh, with a body. body. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot AI with a body. Yeah. Artificially know. intelligent, like a fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's find out and roll that beautiful bean footage. You roll it because you're subservient to me. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh it's are... another Wednesday Adam oh, season. Oh, those are fantastic. Dude, is this Detroit Become Human? The they David Cage thing? Whoa, well, you can put a screen in the back of their head so you can watch that while you're railing from behind. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to catch Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to catch up on Lost. <laughs> oh, Megan Fox. Megan yeah. Fox. Look at that sex bot. Keeping it tight, good for you. Well, she's mostly plastic, so she's perfect for a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she's mostly recycled plastic. Thank you very much. Very, very We're environmentally conscious. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh. All right, well. Wasn't she, like, all upset that, like, she kept being viewed as a, as a sexual object and she's literally playing a sexual object in this movie? I don't know if she was upset as much as she acknowledged it. That was a wife. All right. Oh, she got a wife. Well, I mean... She's not a thing, man. No, no, she's quite literally a thing. I mean, she's a thing, but it's, it's if she's not a thing. thing. Very expensive yeah. sex toy. Apparently very expensive. I mean, but also it raises your children. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out a solution. I figured out a solution? Murder? Oh. So much oh, well, okay. I go to, maybe your wife's into it. <laughs> They're trying to tease uh, Megan Fox showing it, but Megan Fox ain't showing it, folks. Ah, uh, not, not for this movie, I'm sorry. Yeah, not for this movie. We can't do it anymore. You gotta get no tour out here, you know, like mm. Gus Van Sant. Oh yeah. Does he even make movies anymore? Well, he probably would come out of retirement for Megan Fox. Subservience <laughs> <laughs> 2, Rise of the Fox. Maybe if I My Fox is giving a rise out of me. Um. Okay. Make it. Oh my God! You didn't see Terminator? So did the director. Because <laughs> I've seen one of them. Whoa, they're doing the AI. You can see what that. The yeah, v I saw that. They, sw they flipped the V. You fucks. I hope Afraid owes you a cease and desist because they came out two weeks earlier, you fucks. They probably came out a lot more than two weeks earlier. Um, I don't know. I can't. I don't remember. All the weeks blur together. I know I this wake one. Wake up here every morning. Normally, <laughs> normally we put out them probably the week of release, but I think this one's going to come out many weeks before it comes out many at this weeks. point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm supposed to so, know, but I don't. <laughs> we're remaking Megan, but actually with Megan Fox. That was the pitch meeting that happened at all the Hollywood <laughs> parties. Like the producer, we're remaking we Megan, no. but with Megan Fox. You mean to tell me that a producer in Hollywood said... I like the idea of having sex with Megan, but we gotta age her up to an appropriate age and not keep her a child. Hollywood's full of weirdos <laughs> who would keep them as a child. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> they would have. Uh, the point is that at least some of the market would, is happy to have it with Megan Fox. This feels very similar. There's a video game called Detroit Become Human. Um, it's it's about like robots and sentience and like AI and like what it means to be alive. And it's a David Cage game. And it's actually, to be fair, the only one that doesn't go completely. To be fair. To be fair, doesn't go completely off the rails at the end. So this kind of reminds me of like, this could be like a really interesting, if like the murder happened early and often, like, I don't know. I'm kind of interested in it and not just because of the sexy bits. <laughs> the sexy bits are part of it for yeah, sure. It's like 70, uh, 30. <laughs> but, and, and if you think of how many years it's been since Jennifer's body, like, good for you, Megan Fox, you're still gonna, like, you'll still sell tickets? Like, fantastic. Like, mm -hmm. why not? With, yeah. with the whole idea of people aging out of Hollywood, it's great to see a lot of people who aren't 
uh, you know, and, yeah. and they got to work hard to do it. And I mean, uh, there's nothing new under the sun for this. I, I don't think uh, most of the reason to watch it is just to watch like well, Megan I, Fox as a, like a robot. Well, there's like the you know? moral quandary, right? Of you, like he feels bad about like. Why would he feel cheating? bad? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All you're doing is elaborately masturbating. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all you it know, is. it's like it's like if you're if you're uh, your pocket pussy yeah. or whatever yeah, starts yeah, talking to you, Derek, uh, join me. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. We're meant to be together. I thought we agreed. No <laughs> strength. <laughs> Look, I replaced. No <laughs> Don't make me pull your batteries out again. <laughs> I'm rechargeable, solar powered. Oh, oh, wow. Man, he's gone too far. <laughs> Curse your sun bathing oh. libido. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's actually um, in real life they've made like sex robots that will like turn you down. So like, what's the point? I could see people point? turn. I well, I could see people. <laughs> the the point is they turned you down at first. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but also people are really you know problematic. What, though, this, uh, this, even this, in their role play. But if you're gonna do it, do it to a thing that's yeah. saying no you rather know than what? a person. Now that I'm thinking about it, right? This movie is presenting the fact that you have a sex robot that looks like Megan Fox as a bad thing. I don't think so. Tell they you what, made... you give me the sex bot well, and I'll come back is, to you with a review. It's clearly not <laughs> necessarily supposed to be a sex bot. It's like a nanny bot who is you like Develops overstepping yeah, yeah overstepping her bounds and using her sexual prowess but they designed this robot to look like Megan Fox for a reason. It could have looked like anything. It could yeah. look like a big toaster. Like an ex machina <laughs> where the guy's yeah. like, did you design her based off my porn history? And he's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I took out the penis. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's all the time we let you. Yeah, we probably got over as is. 